So the final thing we need to discuss this week is the change that is going to occur in curriculum. Over your career, you will see three or four major changes to the curriculum. It's inevitable. Things advance, and certainly in the field of digital technologies, it advances more quickly than most. So there are various time lags associated with these changes. The first is around recognition that there needs to be a change. Um, it takes some time. I've been calling for um, the adoption of artificial intelligence into the curriculum for around about five years now. Uh, until this year, it wasn't considered significant enough to be important. I suspect that is about to change quite dramatically. There's also around decision-making change or decision-making lags to change. It takes a while for decisions to occur. Rightly so. Education is very conservative. We don't want to be um, flipping and flopping between different fads and trends too much. We do that a lot anyhow, but we want to try to minimise that as much as possible. So even though it may be recognised, it still needs to go through a decision-making process as to whether or not the change is warranted. Then we have implementation lag. It takes a while for things to change. We're seeing that at the moment. We've got a new version of the curriculum. It's still going to take two to three years before that is implemented. It takes a while for such things to occur. And then we have impact time lag. Even once it's been implemented, there is going to take a while before we can see the fruits of that. Now, if we introduce a really significant change, um, it can take up to 10 years for it to percolate all the way through. So the impact that happens on students in primary, in the early years of primary, won't necessarily be seen until year 11 and 12, if it's really significant. And we're seeing a little bit about that around computational thinking and some of the big fundamental introductions that were part of the digital technologies curriculum. Now, luckily, we're getting towards that 10 year um, time frame now. So we're starting to see some of the major impacts of the introduction of the Australian curriculum. But certainly any new changes take some time to be reflected by the students. And then there are some major incorporations that we can expect to see, particularly around technology. The first of these is called X Technologies. This is where we incorporate digital technologies with another field. So say um, law and digital technologies or mathematics and digital technologies. So this is a fundamental aspect of the curriculum um, that we see a broadening of how digital technologies is used with other areas. And often we lose bits of digital technologies to those other areas. Um, in my time, we used to teach a lot around multimedia and video editing. That's now been um, become part of the arts curriculum, no longer part of the digital technologies curriculum. Most recently in the current version, we lost part of the data acquisition aspect of digital technologies, the collection of data, to the mathematics curriculum, where it was considered more appropriate to be taught with other aspects of mathematics. So unfortunately, digital technologies being very much an applied field does tend to lose parts of itself as those aspects are incorporated into other fields. But then we also have what's called um, X computing, where there are various aspects of digital technologies that um, emerge into the, into the um, digital technology space. So an example of this would be biology, where we've seen very much an evolution of the biology curriculum because of computing, where a lot of work around genetics now is done almost entirely with computing. So computing is actually transforming other fields. Um, we saw this very much with graphics, unfortunately to its demise, but um, the, the field of graphics 
uh, as a subject within schools became very much um, dominated by computing. So much so that it, it lost its identity as a separate field of study. Um, and it's still being done to a certain extent in the arts and a little bit in digital and designer technology. But in the main, it's disappeared as a subject as a result. So things go both ways in terms of parts of digital technologies being incorporated into other subjects, but also sometimes um, digital technologies can cannibalize and overtake another subject area and completely transform it. 